problems, uh, and those problems should be looked at. But I've heard no convincing case to impose such a dramatic increase in the membership fee at a time when the party is expanding and when membership of the party has never been more attractive. We need to decide what we're about as a party. Are we an outward-looking party which welcomes new members, or, or, or do we wish to become a closed clique uh, which raises the drawbridge uh, towards new members? If this motion passes, it will be a serious self-inflicted wound in our efforts to attract new members of all ages and all social backgrounds. We do need to address problems in the membership system and issues with paper membership. We don't need to do that by creating a de facto means test for membership of the Labour Party. There is also, uh, and this is a point that other speakers perhaps haven't alluded to, there is also a public element to this. You know, there are journalists and commentators out there you know, who may misunderstand or, 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 or misrepresent this motion. Uncharitable commentators might suggest that the Labour Party is trying to restrict new, membership, new, new members or that we're showing a lack of confidence in our ability to manage our membership process and integrate new members. People might also question what exactly we're thinking in the middle of the worst recession since the 1930s if we choose to treble the membership fee at a time when people are losing their jobs and having their wages cut. <laughs> yes, problems with membership should be addressed. The appropriate way to do this is for this motion to be referred back to the executive to consider solutions. Failing that, failing that, failing that, failing that, I would urge conference to, to defeat this motion. Delegates. <laughs> Delegates, this is not the time to raise the drawbridge to new members. This is the time to expand the Labour Party. Please vote this down. <laughs>